How do you make your marriage last a lifetime? I buy her anything she wants. <laughs> I steal money from the church every day. <laughs> Husbands, love your wives. Uh, it, when you love your wife, love is, 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 there are certain elements of love that we need to remember. 1 Corinthians 13 gives to us a variety of ways to see the elements of love. It gives us a scriptural way of understanding it. But one of the things, and Marie and I were talking about that tonight. That's one of the things we spoke about. We are talking about love in marriage, and uh, love endures. You know, so Marie and I, when we got married, determined that we would have a biblical understanding of what a relationship is, and we put biblical principles to work. And so um, over the years, we've become better at living for Jesus independently, and we've become better at living for Jesus corporately because we have, each one of us has an individual walk with the Lord that blends into the married life. And so it's very important for me as a man to guard my walk with God. And it's important for my wife, Marie, to guard her personal walk with God. And we, though we have individual walks with the Lord, we also have roles within the home that we've learned to work together in. So I've learned what my role as a husband is. She has learned her role as a woman of God. And so a man of God and a woman of God working together in the things of God with the love that endures, that mentality of the patience and kindness and the gentleness and the goodness and those things that pertain to love, to apply those within our marriage, to learn to talk as well as to hear, and to learn to hear sometimes is more important than to talk and to respect one another and to pray for one another and, and, and all of those things. Um, that's how Marie and I have remained the way that we have for the years that we've been together. You know, a long time ago, uh, I knew what it was like to be without her and I discovered what it's like to be with her and I wanna be with her more than I wanna be without her. And so, because that's the truth, I do everything that I can make sure that I knew, never do anything that would make it possible for me to be without her. And so I love my wife, you know, and I love her like Jesus taught us to. You know, when Paul was speaking in Ephesians, he spoke concerning husbands, love your wife. He said, even as Christ loved the church and he gave himself for her. And so that element, even as Christ, how did Christ love you? He loved you absolutely and totally without reservation and without any kind of stipulations. He just loved you. And so that's how I want to love my wife. And uh, was I that way when I was a young man? No, no. I was a, a stupid kid getting married, trying to learn to, to make it, you know. But over the years, I discovered you know, Marie and, I, Marie and I don't fight, and it's not because we can't. It's because over all these years, we discovered there's very few things worth fighting for or over. You know, you know it, it, it's just, it's, a lot of you guys have been married a long time. You know what I'm saying. I mean, when you first get married, I'm the boss. No, you're, you can't tell me what to do. You know, and that was Marie who was the boss, and I was saying, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> no, you know, I'm the boss. I'm this and I'm that, you know, and you're going to. You know, I started out with that attitude and, and I eventually realized that, no, I'm better with her than without her and I need her and she needs me and why not be allies rather than belligerent? And, and I learned to, to shut up and I learned to listen and I learned to value the things she values. And no, I'm not perfect at that, but I'm a lot better now than I've ever been. And uh, I mean, I'll even sit sometimes for a few minutes watching a Lifetime movie. Now that's sacrifice. That is sacrifice. Oh, that's sacrifice. You know, but <laughs> oh, man, greater love has no man than this than to watch Lifetime movie channel. <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, it's just pick your Bible up. Read 1 Corinthians, read 1 John. You know, read, read your gospels and see what love is. And then just say, how does that work in a marriage? And it does. You know, love is patient. Love is kind. You know, doesn't boast. You know, 
it's enduring. You, you see the different qualities of it, and then you say, God, make me that. That's what I want to be. I want to be this. And, um, and you know what? Over time, he molds you into his image, and, and you become that. But I entered into marriage with Marie with one thing, and, and that was this. We are going to make it no matter what. I, we, went in, we never had any reserve clause. We never had any, if it doesn't happen, well, that's okay. No, it was like we burned the boats. We landed on the shore. We're going to go forward. There's no turning back. That's a fact. And that's, and, and that's how we entered into marriage. Never had any consideration of divorce. There were times when we were struggling where I thought maybe we made a mistake being together. But I also said, I, I, no, God brought us together. He'll keep us together. We're going to learn to work these things out. There's nothing that can separate us. We're going to remain con consistent. She's the same identical way. I had the, the advantage of ha having a mom and dad who were married for 50-some years, and she did too. So we saw stability in marriage. That was our model. And with Christ, I can do all things. And I can die to myself, and I can become a man of God, and I can be a good dad. I can learn to do these things. It's not impossible to. I just determined that that's what I would do. And it's no secret. Every married man in here knows what I just said. We all know that. You just hang on. You just hang on. And you know what's good? It's good. For me, it is. For you, Josh, you're not married. <laughs> Don't get married, bro. <laughs>